Okay, so now let's clean up this uh, article show page a bit. So if I go back to Sublime Text, let's see, uh, this is a big mess. So let's uh, close out of all those files for now. And let's go to App Views, uh, Post, and Post Show. So what we are going to do is uh, add some of our HTML classes uh, around this content and format it a bit differently. So if you remember back in our uh, static file in the article show page, uh, what we have is uh, the post show content ID with skinny wrapper and the wrapper padding. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of this and then I will change it out with the dynamic content. So let's paste that in the post show page. All right, so first off, this uh, date. What this needs to be is uh, dynamic, obviously. So what we're going to do is uh, do at post uh, dot created underscore at, and then we're going to do dot strf time, and then we're going to do a bit of regex and do percent A, percent capital A, uh, comma, percent B, and percent D. So let's go back and refresh, see what happens. All right, so we get the dynamic uh, date in there, which is fantastic. Uh, let's do the same with the title. Let's do at post.title. Save, refresh. Beautiful. All right, so the HR stays the same. Now the content is going to change. So let's what we're going to do here is uh, remove all these p tags and the h2 and everything. What we want to do is uh, go at post.content. So let's save that, go back and refresh. All right, so obviously this is not styled uh, nearly as nice as before, uh, but we will fix that with our markdown and syntax highlighting. All right, one last thing I want to do is um, let's go ahead and make sure these buttons work because if you click on them now, nothing happens. So what I want to do is I'm going to paste in some code for the Twitter. So what this is doing is when you click this link, it's a popping up Twitter share link and dynamically inputting the um, title and the link. Um, I can make it a bit easier to read by going like so. It's still kind of hard to read, but basically it's twitter.com um, slash share and then question mark text equals and then the text is going to equal the at post dot title by and I'm doing at McKinsey child because that's my Twitter handle. And then I do a dash and and URL um, and we are doing underscore or we are printing out the URL for and the reason we are doing this is because the URL for and we grab the app post and we do only path equals false. That will make sure it gets the full path. So the HTTP for my site, it would be HTTP McKinsey child dot me. Right, and then we set it to open in a new window and then the width of 800 height of 500. Then we set it 200 pixels from the top and 300 pixels from the side. So let's save that and test it out. Refresh. So if I click on this, we should get a Twitter share box. Awesome. And since I'm signed into Twitter, it says fourth post by at McKinsey child. You can change this if you want. Obviously it's already highlighted and then it adds the, the URL for this post. So currently it's localhost port 3000, but once we push this live, it will be uh, the name of the host you are using uh, slash post slash five, which is fantastic. All right. So let's do the same for and close out of that. Let's do the same for the Twitter and the Google Plus. So let me just replace all of this and I've added some HTML comments just to uh, divide it up a bit. So this is the Twitter, this is the Facebook, and this is the Google Plus. Um, all of these are just Facebook, Google, and Twitter share links and then we dynamically input the URL um, for Facebook and Google Plus and we also add the title for Twitter. So if we save that, go back and refresh, let's just test it out, make sure it works. All right. Beautiful. 
And the Facebook link will work a bit differently once it actually has a real link. Uh, it doesn't work too well with localhost. Awesome. So let's uh, save that for now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete this uh, edit post and delete post for now, and we'll add it back in later. All right, so we are good to go. So I'm going to go back to terminal. Let's see, let's do a git status. You know what? Uh, we have done quite a bit and I forgot to commit from the last video. That's okay, because we just did styling stuff here too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a git add dot, git status. I'm gonna do git commit dash am. And since uh, we added the welcome page and styled the post show page, I'm just going to add that in the commit message. So I'll say added welcome controller and index and uh, styled post pound show. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this into master and then push it up to GitHub. So let's do a git checkout master. So right now we are in the master branch, but if we go back and refresh, none of our styling is here. So what I want to do is git merge uh, the styling branch. And now if we go back and refresh, everything's back to normal because the files from the styling branch are now on the master branch. Now, if we do a git status, you can see we're ahead of origin master, which is what the code on GitHub is um, by two commits. So if we do a git push, all right, we are good to go. What I want to do is uh, do a git checkout dash b, create a new branch called markdown syntax. I'm not sure if that's spelled right. Oh, well. All right. So let's go ahead and make sure or make this able to uh, one, be written in markdown and two, have syntax highlighting. So you know what? I shouldn't have deleted that uh, edit link just yet because I need to use it. So I'm going to do a link to, and I'll say edit, and we'll go to the edit post um, path at post. Refresh, and let me click that link. All right, so we are on the edit page. So what I want to do here is just um, for now, I'm going to put in some uh, Ruby code. So I'm going to say backslash or backtick three times uh, in Ruby. And I'll say puts hello world. And then three backticks to end the code block. And let's update the post. You can see it's there, but none of it gets rendered. So one thing we could do for this is inside of our call to the post.content, we could just add simple underscore format. And what that does is it renders all of it in a new block. Um, if we inspect the element, or not a new block, it notices each of the breaks and wraps it individually in p tags, which is uh, kind of what we want, but it's not all the way there. So what we want to do is use two gems. Uh, we're going to use red carpet for the uh, markdown parsing, and we're going to use pigments.rb for the syntax highlighting. So what we want to do is let's go to the gem file. Ooh, this is messy. Let me clean this up a bit. There we go. All right. So down here, I'm going to add two gems. I'm going to add the pigments.rb and we're going to use version uh, 0.6.0 or above and red carpet uh, version 3.2.2 or above. All right, let's save that and let's go back to our terminal. Let's do a bundle install. All right, and let's restart our server too. Okay, so what we want to do is create a helper method so inside of our uh, helper slash application helper dot RB, let's uh, create a method for markdown. So what I'm going to do is def uh, markdown, and we're going to throw in uh, content to the markdown. And then let me end that before I forget. So what we want to do is create a renderer equals uh, red carpet render 
html.new and we're going to throw in some options. We're going to do hard wrap uh, true. We're going to filter the HTML. That's going to be set to true. And then we are going to throw, just so the list doesn't get unwieldy here, we're going to do some more options in an array. Options equal. I'm just going to paste these options in. So auto link true, uh, that set makes sure it detects links and automatically links them or wraps them in a tags or a hrefs. If you want to learn more about what each of these options do, go to uh, Ruby Gems and or the Red Carpet HTML or the Red Carpet GitHub page and scroll down and it has an explanation of what all of the um, options do. All right, so let's uh, continue on. So what we need to do next is actually call the red carpet markdown. So we'll do red carpet uh, markdown dot new, and we'll throw in those options, the renderer and the options. And then we'll do dot render, and we'll render the content, uh, which we get from right here. And then we're gonna throw in dot HTML safe. So if I go back and refresh, um, nothing will happen because we first need to uh, go back to our show page and instead of simple format, we're going to throw in that or the helper method, the markdown. So let's do markdown, save that, and go back, refresh. All right, so let's uh, look at the source. So you can see each of these blocks get wrapped in the p tag. The code get wrap, gets wrapped in the pre, and uh, the next one gets wrapped in the p tag. This is fantastic. So let's edit this and add a few more things. So I'm going to add a second level header. Say so this is a second level header. Uh, let's keep the code block. Let's also put a list. I'll say this one, another one. No, this one. And then let's put a h3 tag, third level header. All right, that looks good for now. And you can see the markdown formats this, wraps it this in a h2, this one in h3, uh, this is wrapped in a list. Beautiful, right? Fantastic. I am super stoked about this. So the next thing we want to do is take care of the syntax highlighting. Okay, so for the syntax highlighting, we need to actually define some CSS. So let's go back to Sublime Text and let's create a new style sheet. And I'm going to save this as a pigments.scss. Um, actually, let me name that .css. .scss, all right? And let's go into our application down at the bottom. Let's uh, do an at import of the pigments. All right, save that, close. Let's close the gem file. Okay, so um, for the highlighting of the, um, I am using a slightly um, edited version of this gist by uh, Sunbox. So uh, this makes it look like the uh, code on GitHub, which is awesome. Um, I'm not using any of the dot shadow or h3, h1, pretty much just the pre code block and all of this stuff here. Um, so I'm just going to paste that in to our pigments.css. Um, you can copy this from my GitHub page or from the show notes below. So let's save that and go back to our page and refresh. All right, so it puts some padding around here and styles the text and changes the background color. Let's edit this page. What I want to do is let's go to, let's say our post controller. I'm just going to grab all of this and let's put another code block. Say Ruby, paste that in and end the code block. Let's update the post. All right, so this is showing up. Obviously, it's not styled. The syntax is not highlighted. 
um, and that is because we next need to edit the application helper. So what we are going to do is add a class um, to this, and the class is going to overwrite this uh, red carpet renderer, and we're going to do class HTML with pigments, and it's going to inherit from the red carpet renderer. So in here, we're going to overwrite the code block, and we're going to throw in the code and the language, and then we're going to pass in the option pigments.highlight and um, the code, and then the lexer is the language. And then down here in the renderer, all we need to do is replace this renderer right here with the HTML uh, with pigments.new. So if I save that and I go back and refresh, you can see it is now using the CSS from our pigments.scss file, uh, this one here, and it's styling it nicely. This is fantastic. So when you write blog posts and you share code you're learning, uh, it will be nicely formatted and nicely highlighted. And with the markdown, it makes it super easy to write the code or write the post, as you can see. Let's get out of there. So this is looking fantastic. So I think we're at a good place to go ahead and commit our work and merge it into master. So let's go back to the terminal and let's do a git status. All right, so we've done quite a bit. Let's add this and all the other files. Let's do a git add dot to add every file, git s. All right, let's do a git commit with the message added red carpet and pigments dot rb for markdown and syntax highlighting. Boom. All right, let's uh, do git uh, checkout master. Now let's merge that branch in, because remember, uh, right now we are on the master branch and the master branch does not have any of this uh, formatting. So let's do git merge uh, markdown and markdown syntax highlighting branch. Let's merge that in. Now if I do a git push, let's push it up to master, or I mean to GitHub. All right, this is looking good. So in the next video, before we go any farther, uh, I want to push this application live and get it up on Heroku.